Welcome to the Puck and Stoner Dad Show with your hosts, Ginger Claus and Dusty. We are now on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Music by Burning Bridges. Subscribe, like. Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to episode number 15 of the Puck and Stoner Dads. Uh, so we got one, we couldn't make it last night, so we decided we're going to do a podcast and we're going to do a checkup on uh, how the playoffs are doing. Ginger if anyone buddy. wants to know why I couldn't be in the show, it's private. I feel great. I've been skating with the team and... Uh, yeah, I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you been, though, man? Uh, busy. You? Uh, I have a good, um, a little frustrated. What's going on? And I know, uh, I know you've been crazy busy. You're all, as always. Yeah. But uh, now, you now you decided, tell. yeah. My wall is gone. Yeah. I figured since wall might get the start at game five, we'd take away the podcast wall. And so the next think, time yeah. you'll see the podcast wall is at the new house, and it's going to be fucking sick. Uh, I can't wait to see it, man. Can't wait. I, know you, I know you've been excited for uh, I can't wait to get out of this man. place. Yeah, I know I'm you're gonna so pee excited. in every corner. Yeah, I know you're really excited, and I'm pumped for you, man. Thank you. So, we're going to start off with. We're not going to start off with the least because I know that's what everyone wants. We we got uh, we definitely got some talking about them to do, but let's let's start off with the series. Uh, what we're thinking so far of everything, okay? So, yes, yes. We're going to look at the West first, even. This is how we're going to transition into talking about the lease. Is we're going to go through it. So, very first series we got is the series between uh, LA and the Edmonton Oilers. You know, you, you definitely said, you You told me, we, we agreed on this one who was going to be the winner. But you're like, oh man, there's no way they're going to sweep. I thought there was going to be. Uh, I even looked at that first game and I was like, oh man, I think I might be on to the sweep here. But then, uh, tides LA changed. I had one yeah. in them. Yeah. And it's good. And, and, Edmonton won though, eh? Yeah. Uh, quite, uh, I think it was tonight. Was I'm not sure who is currently playing. Uh, I can I can check on that. Uh, let's see, edit the town scoreboard. So the time of the recording, we have uh, Vancouver and Nashville are going into overtime. They're tied at three, and New York is up on Washington one nothing. And we'll talk about what those series are at. We are going to get to those ones. Man, I'm stuck in the stupid Sportsnet Plus. I yeah. can only see what's on TV. Ah, there we go. NHL. Okay. Okay. So we got Edmonton and LA play tonight. Okay. Yeah, I, get I believe you. they do. Or did they play last night? I can't remember. Regardless, so that no, series they play at 11:30 tonight. 10:30 for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm. Uh. I don't know. It's a late series for a Sunday night for me. Wham. I, I am. <laughs> a little bit. I am a little bit, but whatever. In your defense, when you work, you're behind the wheel with people who don't know how to drive yet. So you should be at your best. I, yeah, exactly. That's why I do want to be. Yeah, no, no. I, anyone can be drunk and on crack and build a roof but it takes a real real sane fucking person <laughs> to teach our people how to drive well i evaluate but yeah like i also i don't know you might think i'm also a little bit crazy for doing that too though 
Yeah, I think you're completely nuts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Some of the shit you've told me, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. No, fuck that. Yeah, well, we do, well we're going to bring some of those segments back because the summertime is one of the most entertaining time for that is. And we'll definitely have some segments on the podcast for that. I bet. 100%. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Um. So. So Edmonton leads the series two games to one. Hyman. So, so Hyman far, had a hat trick. Hyman's had a hat trick. Yeah, Hyman. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, let me see here. I want to standing. Yeah. Ever had an ex girlfriend that you just kind of want to hold hands with? That's Zach Hyman for me. So. McDavid, no, McCarr. I think it's, no, McDavid leads in points. McDavid has first, he has nine points in the playoffs so far. So he has nine points in three games. <laughs> That's freaking stupid. That's three points a game. Yeah. McDavid shows up in these times, man. Yes. So, uh, yeah. It's almost as if he's worth the amount of money that he should be paid. Man, if I had some hockey gloves, I'd throw them right now. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, who do you think is second? Uh, Yeah, who do you think is second right behind him? In Edmonton points? No, in points in the whole league. In the whole league? Makai. No. McDa- McKinnon. Brad Marshawn. Fuck me sideways. I didn't want to hear that. Brad Marjon has eight points. I have Kale McCarr looked, has I've eight. No Kale idea. McCarr, sorry, they're t- two way tie. So they're, uh, Kale McCarr has eight points as well. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of knew what I was talking about with my complete fucking guess. Yeah, so not bad. So, and. Jesus, man. Uh, Valerie uh, Nik- Nikushkin. I, I know I just Nishishkin butchered that. Yeah, leads uh, tied for first in goals. He's got six goals. Six goals. Yeah. Wow. Tied with Hyman, so, who also has six goals. Uh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this sucks, man. So wow. like, like, look at that, man. Like. Edmonton right now, so they're tied. They're tied with uh, for someone who has the most goals right now. McDavid had like a five point night. That I think it was the night that uh, Hyman got his hat trick. Nice, <laughs> nice. Edmonton is showing up in this one, man. Like. I know yeah, we really are pre-recording this. Canadian, this though. is this is before Game Four. It really sucks that they're Canadian, so they're not going to make it to the finals. I know, right? Uh, and Con- yeah. So yeah, Connor McDavid has eight assists. Connor McDavid still wins the Con Smythe out in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, man. It's just, it's crazy, eh? Like, yeah, man. It's crazy Edmonton how good he is. is. fucking deadly right now, man. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, they just have that force, right? Like, they're not the greatest defensively, but, like, they can make you pay offensively, and they are coming in their own defensively still, too, though. So, what I'm wondering is, Ryan Whitney a better luck charm than Biz? Oof, I don't know. That's what it's Probably. looking like right now. Probably, yeah. Or he's just better at picking hockey teams. Did you hear four? Um, he was better at playing hockey, too. Yeah. All right, so next series we have Colorado and Winnipeg. Well, it looks like I was right about that one. Uh, what did, We called the same thing on this one, did we not? What did we say? Five games, I, six games. I said it was gonna be a little longer than five games. I think. I think I said six games too. They still have the potential too, right? So I still. Yeah, it has the potential. I just thought. 
Man, like, I'm not going to lie, though. Did you think that Connor Hellebuck was going to allow that many goals? Six tonight? Dude, this is not... This wasn't the series that I thought there would be, like, no. 15 goals, man. No, I didn't think that Colorado... Well, I mean... <coughs> They've already won a cup with mediocre goaltending, but I didn't think that with Georgiev they would make help Buck. And he really, man, he really turned it around because he is actually playing pretty good. Yeah. Like, he's playing really good. So, McKinnon, it'll be interesting like, to see. McKinnon is on an absolute tear, kind of like we did. Every one of them is. Was. They just won a cup a couple of years ago, and now they're yeah. doing this. Like, enough. But enough. Man, like, I thought the Jets were going to put up with a bit more of a fight, man. Like, watching these games, dude. Like, I think today the score was like 5 1 today. Yeah, Niku- no, Nikushkin got a hat trick. Yeah, Nikush- Nikushkin got a hat trick. <laughs> yeah. Tonight. Or today. Oh, it was 5-1. Man, I can't see. And, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm looking at that, man, and I'm maybe regretting not making them go as far. <laughs> and I'm kind of liking your pick for them hidden, man, because they are on a mission. Still a bit of yeah, one line. Yeah, Still think- a bit of a one line team. But if that line, but unlike our, like, unlike in some instances, this one line actually shows up. <laughs> exactly, I know. And then the other three lines that aren't like scoring four hundred goals actually do the roles that they were set out to do. But anyway, what do I know? Colorado in five. Let me call it for you. You think they're right going to take now. it next game? Call it, take it next yep. game in Winnipeg. Yep. Jesse right. Pollock. <laughs> oh, man. I, I would love it. That'd be dope. What? Florida in five. Florida in five, says Remy. Ooh. Okay. Jeez. We'll see what they do. <laughs> uh... Good luck, Boston. <laughs> Next series we have is the uh, Nashville Vancouver series. Uh, so, as we are currently recording, I believe it is about to go into overtime. It's going down for real. Yeah, let's look at that. Let's look at uh, that. And the Canucks oh, won Vancouver it. Won. Yeah, Canucks, Canucks won, won it in won. overtime. Woo! Man, I'm not gonna lie. Man, they have a third string goalie in tonight. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Man, maybe that's what it takes, dude. It this this so seems the kind of series? yeah. Three to one, man. Three to one now. Yeah. So this isn't quite updated, but yeah, they're leading the series three to one. Nice. Uh. I want to make sure. Too bad they're Canadian and they're gonna get knocked out next round, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So like, dude, but talk about like who do who who got some goals tonight for Vancouver? We had uh Brock Besser. Of course. Yeah. Uh. And they came back, man. They came back from 3-1, Vancouver. Brock Besser. Brock Besser got a hat-trick tonight. So, two hat-tricks tonight. Today. In the playoffs, man. That's pretty unbelievable. Oh, why are we fighting? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I'd like to have Brock Besser in a different blue and white jersey. I uh, m- remember when uh, him and Matthews were going for the Calder the same year. Yeah, I remember it like it was eight years ago. Mm-hmm. So. No, it actually seems like it was just yeah. yesterday. Like someone just said that Keith has done nothing in five years. 
<laughs> I yeah. thought he was only coaching for the last two. <laughs> COVID years, man. Time spent by like man, three. Just flew fucking by. Why did you throw your boots at me? Uh, nice butt. Anyway. Our next series, we have uh, Vegas and oh, Dallas. Oh, yeah. The one where you called Dallas and I called Vegas. Yeah. We'll see. Dude, we'll I'm not going to lie. Man, yeah, it was looking like Vegas took two in a row. They took the first two in Dallas. And I, I looked at it and I was like, oh, man, like, I don't know about going back to Vegas. But then I remember, man, Dallas is one of the – Dallas was the best road team in the whole NHL. Oh, really? In the season, they were. Yeah, so I was actually uh, – Believe it or not, the second best was Toronto. Oh, uh, it makes sense. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so the Vegas Dallas, I they won a won last. I think it was last night they played. I think they were the late game last night. Uh, yeah, it won't let me go back right now on this, but yeah. That's I I watch a little bit. It has been pretty good hockey. Yeah, it has been. It's been good hockey. I know you watch some of the games when you can because your uh, son's a Vegas fan. Okay, yeah, I want to get something fucking figured out here. Actually, I might need your help, Cedric. He's all over the place. Oh yeah. This is his list of favorite teams. I just have my top and then my backup because I liked Colorado first when I was five. Mm -hmm. This kid likes Montreal, Vegas, Tampa, and Toronto. He likes teams in the Atlantic besides Vegas. Yeah, and he only likes Vegas because Golden Knights. That's what he says. When you're like, why do you even like Vegas? Golden Knights. He says that, <laughs> and he looks at you like you're an idiot. Okay, so they're golden. Uh, like, don't you know? I'm colorblind. <laughs> don't you know? Like, come on, man. Golden Knights. <laughs> so, I'm like an it. I, uh... I, I, I think Dallas has that shot at tying the series up. I think this is still going to go the full way. I think this is pretty much exactly where we thought it was going to be. Two, Vegas one. and three. Vegas and three. Uh, Vegas and three. Vegas and three. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're not doing that one. We're going to go this yeah, one. Yeah, start this... from the top. Yeah, this yeah. one is not a surprise. Washington got on, got into the playoffs with the power of brothership and friendhood, and I got that reversed, but whatever. Um, yeah. New York is a powerhouse compared to the Capitals, and Ovi has gray hair. Yeah. Well, have you heard about all the posters going up in Washington right now? Washington posters? There's po a bunch of posters. Uh, there's there's a big search going on right now in Washington. Really? Yeah. You know why? You know who it is? You know who they're looking for? Who are they looking for? They're looking for fucking Ovechkin to show up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh fuck! He's at the old age home, sitting in a chair, getting his feet rubbed. Oh, like, dude, he's <laughs> he's. It seems right now he is only in it right now to, to chase uh, Gretzky's record. Yeah, exactly. That's he don't care. Say, yeah. He got his one cup. Crosby yeah. got how many? But anyway, um, and that's what his legacy is his... down, man. And that's our, everyone's argument ever was: Did he get a cup? And he did. He did. He got a matter. cup and some records. Yeah. So the Rangers right now are actually currently up one nothing. As we are recording this and they're one, about to sweep. Uh, about to sweep. Yeah, I think. What do we? What do we? I don't even remember what we said in the series. I think we might have said five. Yeah, I can't remember. I'd have to. Uh, 
can't remember. Five, I did. I five, remember seeing yeah. two sweep, two sweeps in it. I don't think that was the one I called. It could have been. I'd have to listen again or look at our fucking. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll we'll go back. We'll do a thing right after the playoffs, seeing how like how accurate we actually were. Probably going to be. I have a feeling I was only accurate on the West. Yeah. Uh. Let's see here. I want. I want to see who got the Ranger goal. Uh, Kapu Kako. Uh, of course. Cedric, come here for a sec, real quick. Real quick. Let Uncle Remy play. Take Mom her supper. I can't take it to her. It's on the. It's your hand is on it. Take it to the bedroom. I don't know where she is. All right, I'm back. Okay, so I agree. I think they're going to take it tonight. Yep, that's I, it. Yeah, it's over. I think pa- Panarin goal incoming, Zbinijag in goal incoming, and fucking maybe even Adam Fox. Yeah, but... Ra- Rangers have such a good shot at it this year. And Shesterkin, man. I think yeah. he's my hello, Toby. Depend, depending how he is playing, I could see him being a Conn Smythe candidate. Depending. Like, I know it's early. But. Yeah. yeah. No, I think, uh, man, like, that team is just stacked and, and overlooked. Yeah. No one talks about the Rangers. No. Uh. Okay, so we think they are going to move on. So, the, the next series. Oh. Uh, wow, yeah. I Ooh. didn't. I, wait, I, I don't remember. I think I called Florida, yeah. I said yeah, Florida, I remember you said Florida. I said, I, I said Tampa, but man, I thought this was going to be a seven-game series. Like, I thought it was going seven games, yeah. You have a goalie like Vassy and like... I don't know. I thought Florida was going to do so much better. They obviously they can turn it around. If there's any team probably that might be able to do it, it might be them. But I don't know, man. They might be getting too old. I'd I, I'd expect Tampa to go, come back from three to one before anyone else. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Florida did go up three three zero. So and I know I'm pretty sure Tampa obviously. Yeah, Tampa won last night. Or no, is it today? Something like that. I uh, all I saw today was the Colorado game. Yeah, and then we got no surprise. <laughs> I said I said Carolina in five. I'm about yeah. to witness it. I uh, mean, like how Carolina is a playoff powerhouse. They have been since two thousands, early two thousands. They never go for the big name stars. They just put together this fucking killer depth lineup that top to bottom okay. Yeah, and it works. And Play it a works. style. And when you have Rod Brindamore as your coach too, it tends to help. That guy's nose is worse than mine. What? Yeah. Close. <laughs> But yeah, like yeah, Rod, Rod Brindamore, man, it's like I, I heard people saying like him as a candidate if the Toronto thing is not. For Jack Adams? Oh, no, for like if something happens with them. But like, Keith. yeah. No, not in know, a million man. years. No, I don't, never. I don't think you'll see him leave Carolina. No, not going to happen. They just extended him. Yeah, and he. The, it's not like it's like been 10 years of first round exits for Carolina. Once they touch the playoffs, they're guaranteed at least the third round. Yeah, exactly. All right, so. <laughs> oh. So I was wrong. Yeah. Maybe. I I'm struggling where to start on this one because everything, man, that that last game was absolutely fucking horrific. 
Absolutely fucking embarrassing, man. Yeah, there's no good. Like, there's no, like, oh, well, at least we can praise this. Like, it's been fucking bullshit. No, exactly. Right? Like, and, like, (laughs) I've been struggling with it, right? Like, it's like, it's. Shit, one second. I gotta find that fucking Keith quote. I had it. Right here. Alright, we're not gonna do it quite yet, but. Well, then right, we... So it's ready. So. With that Welcome game. To the show, Sheldon. What the fuck were you thinking, Sheldon? Well, anyway. there's, there is one thing here, okay? There's a couple tweets I wanted to show you here. Uh, I'm going to read it to you. There's a couple of tweets I saw. This is the one I really wanted to, uh, everyone to see. So I saw someone, it was like a parody of Baghead account says Marshawn without a single penalty in the series because he's such a clean player, you see. And, uh, Hedy, Hedy Standerson. It says, now, if you used to put that. this series on a bad officiating, the least have gone 0 and 3, 0 and 5, 1 and 2, and 0 and 3 on the power play. They should be embarrassed because I know I am. Yeah, that's very true. Like, like man, you said, like, Guy Boucher is not yeah. the man to coach that unit. Dude, why? Of all fucking people, man, like whoever made that decision should be fucking fired. Shout out yeah, to him. Who uh, made that decision? Yeah. Shout out to Hetty too. I told him I was going to use this on the podcast. So shout out to him. Sweet. But, yes. dude, the power play is absolutely horrendous. Why aren't they adapting? They keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and they're expecting different results on this. And it's not going to fucking happen, man. No. It's so nah, fucking you're, you're predictable. You're supposed to learn that in Fire Cry 3 back in the day on Xbox 360 when Voss comes and says, do you know the definition of insanity? Exactly. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different yeah. fucking results. And not only that, man. And then they come out and the fucking effort on the fucking team, man. It was pathetic. They look like shit. Okay, maybe Matthews is sick, right? He's he's still I still think Matthews for the somewhat played pretty decent for being someone that probably was goddamn shitting himself in the second yeah, intermission and couldn't periods, come out yeah. and couldn't come out for the third because he was shitting or something. Was it confirmed food poisoning? That's what they're saying. It was food poisoning or an illness or something like that. Like, okay, this is what bugs me when people will be like, oh, yeah, so-and-so played with a torn ACL. All right, that's this is the thing. It's it's one thing to play through pain. Exactly. But when you got brown liquids running down your leg, you got a collar a night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're, like, you're nailing it, right? Like, it's what? different. Okay. Yeah. Like they're not going to do anything different though. They're going to do me. Well, I mean, well, I'm not a psychic. And they're just they're not adapting, man. And like the effort level was absolutely fucking pathetic. And you got people going, "Oh, well, fucking exactly." Like, "Oh, it's not injured." Man, like it's, he didn't have the fucking sniffles. No, no. If if shit's running down your leg, you got to go home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yum. And then, right, like, we start getting some of the quotes after the game. When they got to scrape the brown line off the ice, geez, go home. If you want to play all the roof through a broken wrist. Yeah, it's it's. I've taken a exactly. sheet of drywall to the face and finished the shift. Yeah. But if I've got the shits and I'm puking at the same time, 
I'm not going to stay on the roof. What a good am I going to be? I'm going to shit everywhere. And not just that, man. Like, I don't think so. these people that are make these comments know what it takes to be able to skate on the ice with these guys, especially playoff hockey. Yeah, skate. You want to skate stride, 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 not squirt, 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 yeah, squirt. Yeah, like the intensity <laughs> of it. Like, like, I do want to see him the show off. Like, I get he's sick, but like, this the next game, and this is this is when we're going to see it. Like, you're seeing these guys. There's fucking the hissy fits that are thrown on the fucking bench. We got quotes for all this stuff. Then we got we're gonna what. Well, I want to get in. The first thing I want to get into is the Keefe thing. So Chris Johnson tweeted it like last night right after the game. Sheldon Keefe said you can question a lot of things. You can't question the effort. Yeah, you can't question and that there's been. Dude, that set off fucking Leafs Twitter last night, man. Yeah, dude, That fucking I've, quote, I've, man. Every time I go on Twitter today, it's just yeah. like a piss off, man. And like, that's what it was. It, it's, been, it's been Marner and Keefe and... Dude, like, usually I'm not one on this shit, man, but, like, dude, enough is enough with this shit with these guys, man. Guys gotta show up. Like, it is, it's fucking so frustrating. It is so frustrating, and it's especially frustrating because we're sitting at home and all we can do is watch. Yeah. Okay, Talk so, uh, and then we got, I'm going to play this here. It's the Sheldon Keefe press conference after. It's 38 seconds. I think we should be good to play it. If not, we, we can, I'll remove it from the video. I'll delete the video if it says we're copyrighted, and I'll delete this part out of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure all you have to say is we don't own this video. Yeah, well, we don't own this video, and it is an interview, so who knows. All right, so. Sheldon, we saw some sniping on the bench from you guys in the second period. How do you keep the, the group together? And what's the level of frustration? I don't sense any frustration. It's, I mean, guys, guys are pushing one another. Guys are competitive. Guys want to win. You know, um, it's all, it's all part of the effort level where you wanted to see it. Nothing wrong with our effort level here tonight. Guys are competing. It's all yeah, it's, Guys, you can question a lot of things. Bro, you can't question the effort. What? Yes, sir. What? <sighs> like, dude, like. Yeah, I don't know like, about what that. What was that, man? Like, why the fuck would you? I think you can, buddy. I think you, the only, like, there wasn't any. We know that much. Come out and say that. And he, the way he's talking, it's like he doesn't even believe the words he's saying. It's like he's just saying it. Yeah, like, but... look at his face. L listen to him. He just, like, he's not a coach that's angry. No. And, they, man, they can smell it. It's like he feels indifferent. He's like, yeah, we're losing, yeah. but it's a tough team, so whatever. We didn't even think we were going to win this in the first place. Did you guys? <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You mean Dude. the fans bought into this? No, we've been doing this for years. I'm just here for the paycheck. <sighs> Bro, like... I, I just oh, I don't know, good. man. I'm not going to quite play that one yet, but. Welcome to the show, Mitch. Glad to have you. What the fuck have you been thinking? Uh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Like, man. I just, I don't understand how Sheldon Keefe can come out and say that. Your power play is nah. fucking one for 13. Your special teams fucking suck, man. Like. I tweeted last night, why don't we pull people from the fucking crowd and put them behind the bench? We might as well. Like, how can they have done any fucking worse on that, man? Like, it's... And... <laughs> Another year, though, right? Like... 
I just uh, and, like yeah. Is so, yeah. is next year gonna be the exact same thing? And that's what I wonder. And that's what a core five brings with me different in. depth pieces with a little bit of a new dream that we can hold on to mm. until April. So that that's when I say, I saw the tweet from Jeans Myrtle Marner. We're not yelling at each other because we hate each other. Hey, dude. And then I'm going to get in. No we one thought you hated here. each other. We thought you were a bitch. We still yeah. do. So then. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any. Um, you know, we're, we're grown men. We're talking about plays out there that uh, we just want to make sure we're all 100% on and, um, you know, know what we're doing. Just a little bit off page there. And um, we're not yelling at each other because we hate each other. We just want to uh, want all be on the same page to help each other out to, you know, try to get the best offensive chance. And, um, didn't work out that one opportunity, but I mean, Willie and I and Austin, we talked about it after, you know, we're just trying to make a play and, um, fortunately enough, it didn't happen on that one. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, really? I might've been born on a Tuesday, but it wasn't fucking last Tuesday. Yeah. We saw what's going on <laughs> in the bench, man. Matthews was cutting them a fucking apart. And Willie said, stop fucking crying. This isn't Junior. To him. Yeah. Like, man, like, they're tired of his shit. It fucking clear Look, as day. Look, he looks like he's about to cry right there. It's clear as day, man. Like, this, this and this is the thing. Okay, so I, I, I don't hate the guy at all. I just... I don't think he is a fit for the Toronto, this Toronto team. He is an incredible no. player, and he is going to fit in somewhere absolutely great, and he's going to probably go win cups, and he's going to shove this whole fucking thing right off our fucking ass. But, <sighs> yeah, like any time we meet him in the future, if he ever leaves, he's going to light the fuck up. He, I don't think he can handle the pressure here of being in Toronto. Or do you think it would be that Freddie Anderson thing where, like, Freddie Anderson is a great goaltender, one of the best in the league now. Like, the uh, one of the best in the league. I will repeat, Freddie Anderson is a great goaltender. You yeah. put him in the Scotiabank Arena, he sucks fucking ass. And I yeah. think it's because our fans are still in his head. Dude, because this team is so starved for a fucking championship because they've been putting so much goddamn shit on the fucking ice for how fucking long? Uh, selling it to us and selling us hope and, oh, this team, and this team, like, this is going to be it. And then you got guys like this that, okay, let's pay these guys game-breaking money. And when it comes to game-breaking time, they do don't fucking show up. Sure, oh yeah, Marty's got 48 points in 52 games. And sure, Lottie fucking duh. Yeah, and, and there's how many of those six to nine points in three games right now. So how what many of those category is in? How many of those 52 games or whatever 58 games or playoff games he has, how many of them are in the goddamn first round? <laughs> yes. Maybe five fucking games past the first round of all these playoff games, man. Yeah, you're right. They're not fucking kids anymore, dude. Nah, they're grown men. He just said it himself. Like, Jesus Christ, man. These guys are entering their prime of their career where they have that fucking three-year window where they are at the absolute best they are going to be. And we're looking at another fucking, like... Another exit coming up here. Yeah, maybe in a game. And another thing they're going to sell us again this summer. They're going to make some fucking big trade this summer. Get someone fucking big. Probably on the blue line this year now. Get everyone excited just to fuck us again next year. Kale McCarr coming to the mm -hmm. Leafs. But fuck. we traded Matthews, Marner, and Nylander for him. Well, man, that's that's the thing, man. They're saying there is there might be a good shot that uh, he won't be here next year. Mariner? Yeah. That would be a 
goddamn blessing. And I like I, like you said, I don't hate the guy either. I love Mariner. I think he's a great player. I've got his jersey on my wall, but I just don't think he fits in this scheme for the playoffs on this team. I'm done with him. Maybe even just work out a deal with the general manager where we have him during the regular season and then we ship him somewhere else in the playoffs. He can go there. <laughs> can you imagine it to work help that us way? Come back. Yeah, could you imagine? That'd be <laughs> sick. But yeah, like, I don't know, like something definitely, something has to change, man. If this doesn't go well, man, it's clearing house, dude. Shanahan's gone. Keith is gone. All the coaching staff should be gone. Like maybe keep Mandy Malholcher because he is a great face 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 off specialist. But dude, like it's just. It's just not working, and then and fuck the Joe Bowl and shit. I know you saw that too. Yeah, I did. That kind of drove me fucking nuts, man. He yeah, he's he's very right, I guess. Uh, I don't think he is though, man. Like, dude, this team. What has this team given us to cheer for in the past? How long? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's one of those like break the cycle things. Either a team's got to learn to play through the bad vibes in the arena, or the 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 arena has to learn to cheer them on through bullshit. It's kind of like a husband and wife fighting, right? Someone's got to give, but no one wants to. Yeah, we deserve to give them nothing because they haven't given us anything. But at the same time, they can't feed off our energy if there is none. But I can't. I can't tell you. I've never been in that fucking arena, right? So I don't know. The thing, what man, the when you are. when you are charging the prices you're charging, you're gonna get tickets, people and who the don't team want to be there. And the team that has had how many chokes in the playoffs, man? Too many. How many? Exactly. So you're this team is everyone's on edge in that building, man. Like everyone. You're sitting there on edge, and you're like, "Oh man, like they're gonna blow it." Like that's how I feel watching a game. Even I with spent the lead. a thousand dollars to be here, and they might not even. Yeah. win. I get you. So like, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fucked up, man. You're sitting there. You're oh, how is this team gonna? Do? I spent a thousand dollars, and this team is gonna get their ass kicked, and like they're losing. This sucks. Maybe the in in the in in arena entertainment maybe they need to create a better vibe in there i don't know something something's gotta happen exactly because this whole break the cycle thing no one's gonna just break the cycle right no the team's gonna keep sucking and the players or the fans are gonna just keep going to maple leaf square to watch and the people in suits are gonna be sitting in the stands exactly So, <laughs> leading up, and now this is the point where, man, I, I really feel like the most leafy thing fucking possible is going to happen. Oh, yeah, me too. I don't They're even probably, I they think. They are probably going to win on, when is it, Tuesday they play? Yeah, I think, I think it's Tuesday. No, no probably... I think they're going to force you right to game seven. Oh, and... they probably will. Then... They're going to make it interesting and they're going to leave. Yeah, it up and again. then we're going to have to, like, yeah. we're going to be sitting there in game seven, excited as hell to watch Samson off let in the first shot of the game and, and that, then the fourth that... shot okay. and then well, the 11th shot. Then that is my next question, too, which actually we do have in here. So we were going to get into some questions here. Yes, uh, Rob. Yes. Uh, is it. There we go, yeah. That's that's the one question we do have. What's your solution to goaltending? Me, personally. So, like, right now, it's probably, like, who do we start going into game five? Who do you start? I honestly, like, I know I backed Samson off off. Samson off up last podcast last episode i i backed him up pretty good 
And I don't even want to say last night was his fault. Or the, yeah, I, uh, I thought he was kind of shitty last night, man. I think he was shitty. I don't want to say it was his fault, though. The whole team. No, the, it was the whole, the whole team effort sucked. Yeah, but Samsonov has to make a fucking save, too. But, right. yeah, he definitely has to step it up. But I don't think he, there's time to anymore. Like, I, I know I backed him up, and I know, like, I don't want to say everything's his fault, but last night he was dog shit. Mm -hmm. um, I think in order to get the team to move differently, you got to shake something up. I, Wall isn't injured right now. He's been dog shit since he was injured. But like, he was, I thought he actually came into that third period and actually didn't play that bad. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe, the, maybe his playoff – Maybe ride it. Maybe and it, he yeah, can come yeah. in and be hot. Then absolutely anything can exactly. happen. Exactly, that's in what the I'm saying. I don't think he's the. I don't think he's the future of the franchise right now. I'm not even thinking that far. But I think right now, like, throw him out there. What's there to lose? So what I think they need to look at it right now is they need to win a period. They need to win the first period. That's where they look at Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Win the period. Period by period. Yeah, period by period. Win the first period, then win the second period, then the third. Win the game. That's what they need to look at it. They need goaltending. They need everyone to show up. They need to see the mar. Like, the problem with, I think, Marner's game is it doesn't translate into the playoffs. We need to see a Marner that is willing to grind out a fucking win. Yeah, but what if Man. he doesn't exist? Like, you can't just keep dancing to this, right? You have this year. You have these fucking games, Mitch. Do you want to fucking be a Toronto Maple Leaf or do you want to fucking be somewhere somewhere else? Put this I'd... team on your back and let's see what you can do. Get us out of this first round and then we can talk if you're going to be on the team next year. I just wish they had have seen this in the like maybe 2 years ago and got a fucking nice return for him. Dude, in July then up to July, yeah, he had no move clause. No move clause, man. They had up to then, right after the playoffs. They could have put. Yeah. They and now it's like his return. You got you to gotta make he, a deal with him. You gotta he's going to dictate his future, him. man. He's going to dictate then his future. You, you're not even getting what you could have got because he's got a year left on his contract yeah, or exactly. you've got to extend yep. him. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to get the value. So that's dog shit but whatever mm -hmm. we'll still uh, be cheering about it yeah alright so we had another question uh, Rob again Again. he said core 5 who do you keep and why uh, does the bench drama affect your choice at all no uh, Mariner yeah, going Tavares I, if I could move him yesterday I would I've been saying that too actually I've I've been saying on this podcast, I know you've actually kind of shared your thoughts on me. I think the team looks at building around Matthews and Willie. I think you look at maybe pushing it from them and then building from the from the goaltending out. Find a you're goal crazy to get rid of a 69 goal score just because he can't perform in the playoffs. Yeah. But you you could definitely take the, the one who is causing a bunch of drama and not in just this instance it's mitch he's always upset and flapping his jaws about something and he's consistently not showing up in the like he's showing up but he's not been the same mitch in the playoffs bring some shit in that can do a bunch of good shit during the playoffs so matthews uh, can suck man, man it's clear toronto wants like a pretty much a psychopath that's willing that can play the game of hockey but when the ref turns his head, he will cross check you in the back of the fucking head in the play. Yeah, that's that's the agenda. We've gone from the opposite. It used to be we yeah. needed sandpaper. Now we're just the extra heavy grade. Yeah. But they need they want guys. If we want guys who can play, but at the same time, man, like I want guys that care. Yeah. P like. People who just go out with passion and fucking the passion outweighs the talent because right now the talent ain't doing fuck all. Mm -hmm. It's like this Toronto Maple Leafs Pez dispenser. When you break it open, yeah, 
No heart. Yeah, and then our uh, our boy Shadow says, "Why the fuck do we have passion for a team that doesn't have passion?" And what, that's a what, question. I, wow. It's a he question. He said it after my little fucking no passion speech. Exactly. I remember that. I was like going to say, I was like, we we have been talking. Man, it's so true. And I think it's because, like, we've been watching this team since we were fucking five years old in diapers. I wasn't in diapers at five. That's a joke. But uh, we've been watching this since we were kids. And most of these kids are kids. So they don't give two shits about the crest on their sweater like we do, right? They're just getting paid. Yeah. And it's hard to give up the passion. Mm -hmm. Just because the team sucks dick now. And they, they don't even suck dick. They're a good team. They just don't know when to show it. Uh, I literally think the only reason we have passion for that team is because we've been through it for so long. We're like in love with a shitty person and they treat us like shit, but we just keep doing nice things for them because we think that they're going to change or some shit. Yeah, you're right, dude. Like, <laughs> you're nailing it, right? And, like, I'm I'm tired of it. Tired of like investing all this time, all this fucking like. It's getting fucking old. The ride and die of being a Leaf fan, man. Like the the upsets, the choking fucking stupid leads, the fucking getting beat by a fucking Zamboni driver. Uh, like. Scoring four goals in your opening debut game and still losing 5-4. Yeah, exactly. To the Ottawa Senators. Putting together like 16 future Hall of Famers in 2002. Yeah. Just to watch the team lose in the, what was it, second or third round? Mm Mm-hmm. Watching year after year of missing the playoffs. Watching Pete, Peter fucking Eng. It's brutal. Uh, we've been we've been through it all here at Puckin' Stoner Dads, and yet we still fucking cheer for that white and blue. Exactly, we do, and we continue to want to get hurt. I got another question here. I'm gonna I'm just saving it right now. Just give me one second here. Alright, I'm gonna bring her up in here. Uh, image. Actually, one second. Uh. Which I'm not gonna lie, this is actually. It's actually kind of nice because it's actually non hockey. Oh, it's non Leafs at least. All right, so hateful Jeremy Rose says, uh, "Do the Stars have a chance to bounce back against Vegas after last night's win in OT? They haven't been able to get pa- uh, get past a fresh Mark Stone, and that's." Cr- uh, and that crazy goalie play, and there, and is there any reason that the Leafs keep Keith if they lose this series? So, first question, then we're gonna answer. Do the do the Stars have a chance to come back? My answer is gonna be yes, because I no. really think I <laughs> Ginge doesn't think they are going to. Golden Knights, come on, Golden Knights, yeah. Golden Knights can't beat gold I think they do I think they have a good shot at coming back I think they're like we said earlier in the podcast too they are the second best road team in the NHL in the regular season and this is playoffs I get that but yeah it's playoffs but they're not the Leafs exactly that means they can they stand a chance 
Yeah, they stand at least half a chance. Uh, and then for the second part of his thing, he says, is there any reason to at least keep keep if they lose this series? For me, absolutely not. I don't think they should. Absolutely not. If the Leafs lose this Control series, out the Leaf, man. Control yeah. out the Leaf. I think you get rid of all the coaching stuff. I think everyone you get ri- you have to get rid of everyone. Reset, reset. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh so I think that about does it for tonight. Uh time to go move. Yeah, you got to get mo go moving. It looks like your workers are getting antsy in the background. Uh <laughs> I know you're busy all week. He's just having uh, me smoking weed back there. Yeah. Let's maybe... Or, <laughs> let, we'll do a post game. We'll definitely do a post game after game five, <laughs> regardless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll do post games from now until you Even get settled in your place. if I have a migraine? I mean, yeah. if I have privacy issues? <laughs> we'll make it work. I don't want to talk about it. Respect yeah. my privacy. All right, so yeah, we will make it work. Uh, hopefully Tuesday will be our uh, guys. If you are on the Facebook or the not the Facebook, we are on Facebook. You want to check us out on there? We are on Instagram. Check us out on TikTok. TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, uh, all our shorts or sh- we have great shorts. We'll be probably doing some clips off this. Twitter. Uh, yep. Make sure. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, though. Our YouTube page is getting a lot of love lately, and we really appreciate it. Uh, drop a like on this. Subscribe to the YouTube. I'll smoke a bowl. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can have them like smoking like five bowls before the game time. Yeah. Five twenty-five before game five. All right, guys. Uh, Anyway, thanks for coming to check this out. Don't forget to, like I said, don't forget to leave a like, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you for watching. Like. Subscribe. Check out our social media.